The Senate chamber went quiet Wednesday as the first pieces of never-before-seen video footage were shown on the second day of the impeachment trial of former President Donald Trump. All turned their heads, almost in one motion, as the first radio transmissions and video footage played loudly on a pair of TVs in the chamber. Nearly every senator sat attentively, and some, including Senator Cory Booker, D.N. J., readjusted their chairs to get a better view. Several senators in the back row of the chamber, including Democrat Mark Warner of Virginia, stood for several minutes to see the screens. House impeachment managers, who are acting as prosecutors in the trial, played video of rioters brawling with police outside the Capitol, smashing windows to climb inside and rampaging through the halls with bats and poles, saying they were looking for Vice President Mike Pence and House Speaker Nancy Pelosi, D. Califf. But by Thursday, the tone of the chamber had turned. Several Republican senators seemed less engaged than in the previous two days. As impeachment manager Rep. David Cicilline, D.R. I. spoke about the trauma faced by congressional staffers, more than a dozen Republican senators opted to view the trial from a room beside the Senate chamber rather than inside. Senators pensively tapped their feet on the ground, and only a few Republicans, including Sens. Bill Cassidy and Mike Lee, were taking notes. Senator Tom Cotton, R. Arc, flipped a stack of papers back and forth, reading through his materials rather than watching Cicilline. Senator Rick Scott, R. Florida, had a blank map of Asia on his desk and was writing on it. While some senators seemed to be losing interest at times, their attention returned at a few key moments, including when managers played video of rioters screaming, fight for Trump. Senator Mitt Romney, R. Utah, looked pensive as video of a rioter saying, we were invited here, played. Wednesday's previously unseen footage without question shook several senators. Video showed gallows built outside the Capitol as rioters chanted, hang Mike Pence, and bring out Pence. As they swarmed throughout the building, rioters shouted that they were looking for Pelosi, calling her, crazy Nancy. The impeachment managers also showed security footage of staffers rushing to safety, locking themselves in rooms just minutes before rioters entered Pelosi's offices. Stacey Plaskett, a House impeachment manager and Democratic delegate from the Virgin Islands, played audio Wednesday from one of Pelosi's aides pleading in a whisper for help in a phone call after staff members barricaded themselves in a conference room. They're pounding on the doors trying to find her, the staffer whispered into the phone. Senators mostly remained motionless. Some jotted notes, others leaned in toward the screens, and many whispered to one another as videos were shown. Susan Collins, R. Maine, held her head between her hands several times as the clips played. She at times took notes.